Hi and Merry Christmas. Merry it's so Christmas. good to be with you. Pam and I, we love Christmas. We do. It's so it's it's the best time of the year. It really is such a well, beautiful time. It's not time. really, but it, I mean, it is kind of. Well, you know, yeah. and I think that brings up a because, good subject because a lot of times people go through difficult times, and we've been through some really difficult yeah. times at Christmas time. And it kind of makes me think of the star characters in the Christmas story in Luke chapter 2. Mary and Joseph were going through a really difficult time. When you read that in Luke chapter 2, um, Caesar Augustus had just made a, a law that everybody would be taxed. They felt so alone. Yeah, they had they to travel scared. this really yeah. difficult journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem, which wasn't easy any day of the week anyway. But now you got a woman that's pregnant, about to have a baby, baby Jesus, and they're headed for Bethlehem. So, I mean, they had difficult times. They get there. There's no room in the hotel. There's no room in the inn. They got to go and they got to stay in the manger. So, I mean, these weren't easy times for these two people. And we kind of pick up the story in Luke chapter 2 with the shepherds. And it says in Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 8, it says in the same region, there were shepherds. They were keeping watch over their flock by night. They were on the night shift. And an angel of the Lord suddenly stood before them, and the glory of the Lord flashed and shone around them. And it says they were terribly excited. No, it no. doesn't. It <laughs> says that they were terribly <laughs> frightened. frightened. You know, Pam, a lot of times when God shows up on the scene, He brings change, and His light shines, and it's the glory of God. And I think everybody thinks that they're going to feel good about it, but the mm -hmm. truth is we can get kind of scared because God introduces change into our life and, and change it, is, is traumatic even it good is. change it, it can right. be traumatic and how many times in the bible when the angel came to give good news instead of getting yay for us they and were that's part of the scared. message of yeah. christmas god wants to bring change into your life so let's keep going here but the angel said to them what he's supposed to say he says don't be afraid for behold i bring you good news of great joy, joy which will be to all people for this day in the city of david there's been born for you a savior who is christ the lord and then it goes on and it says, and then suddenly there appeared with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, you know, those angel warriors, all showing up on the scene praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to all of mankind. Yeah. You know, Pam, I remember a Christmas that really stands out to me for, for us together was the Christmas right before we got married. And I think you were kind of secretly hoping and planning that I was going to propose to you and get engaged. I was a perfect time. <laughs> it was I a just good had time. all thinking he's going to propose, he's going to propose. Well, what you didn't know was that I was actually planning. I had got the ring. I had, you know, like cuz I mean, you're just you're not just any girl. I mean, you deserve a special <laughs> ring. So I had gone and I was getting this special ring made and everything. So I showed up the week before Christmas and they presented the ring to me and I was like that's that's the wrong ring. It's the wrong color. Like Pam likes white gold. It was yellow gold. It was just everything yeah. was wrong. So for me, it was all about the gift. I had to get the gift to you. So I had to kick the proposal out. As you know, we got. I didn't know any of this was right. happening. So yet. as you know, we we ended up the whole deal went down Valentine's. Mm -hmm. But I mean, at Christmas time, you were kind of expecting. The real gift, but what you really wanted was the promise. Yeah. She wanted the promise of a new life, of being a bride, the promise of a love forever. She would have been happy with a string I around her been. finger I, if I, I would have just given totally, you the promise. Totally, yeah. And you know, this is what Christmas is about. A lot of times people going into Christmas, they get jaded about this whole holiday. Why? Because the thing is, they're scared that what really is the meaning of Christmas, the true hope, what that angel, the great angel presented when he said, I've got good news of great joy. I think a lot of times people think, I'm not going to get the gift that brings me great joy. Well, friends, I just want you to know, God sees his promises through, and this Christmas can be completely different, unbelievable, blessed, unique, full of favor for you. If you receive the good news that carries the great joy. You know, Pam, I'm often reminded in Isaiah how that it talks about the oil of joy comes down over our head and anoints us with an oil of gladness. 
Remember that Christmas? You were anything but glad. You were sad. Yeah, I was very sad. And maybe just even a little a, angry. <laughs> maybe, and maybe just a little mad. Even, yes, I was. Right? Okay. Because the thing is, this is the way we get at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. In our hearts, we get jaded and we get a little mad because we know inherently the true story of Christmas should bring gladness, right. not sadness gladness, but it's all about the promise, the good news. And I just want you to know that God delivers on his promises. So this Christmas for you, receive the gladness, yeah. not the sadness of the good news that the angel talks about. That's good news of great joy. Listen, your feelings will always follow your thinking. If you will allow God, God's thoughts to get into your thinking and get that transfer into your heart. That's why Jesus said, repent. He was saying, change your way of thinking so that your feelings will line up with God's plans for your life. I just want you to know that Pam and I have gifts for you. If you go to lifetalkspodcast.com, I got that right. You did. <laughs> Stephenandpam.com. We got free gifts for you where we're for hours. We're just going to sit with you and talk the word of God and help your thinking. Christmas can be amazing this year. It can be beautiful. It can be loaded with blessings this year. So posture yourself. Um, posture yourself to receive. You know, when you come before a king, a uh, queen, you posture yourself to receive whether they're going to knight you. So I love the word. The word says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. In other words, just like the queen would be knighting you, you, you bow and then you receive the great reward. And this Christmas season, on Christmas Day, God has got a great reward for you. In the name of Jesus, we speak blessings yes. over you. We thank God that the word of God never fails or re never returns void. And God, in your precious word, you've got gifts yes. for your people. For that person listening right now that's struggling with sad, maybe even mad, but Father God, you want to give them the oil of joy and make them glad. For this next year, gladness. In the name of Jesus, we speak blessings and peace, peace on earth, goodwill to all humanity. Merry in Christmas. Jesus name. Merry Christmas.